Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Alright, let's make use of this bomb and, uh, go see what all the screaming was about. Aha! Woo! Now with a pack of C4, I'd expect you to have to run a little further away than that, but... Oh well. Maybe Claire shaped it and we just don't know about it. Could be a thing, but what, uh, what have we in here? Of course, of course, what else would there be? Oh, hello, sir. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Reasonable thought. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. Hmm. So what happened That's to her? the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. Hmm. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Oh, yeah? Either by putting a bullet through her brain... Uh-huh. ...or by decapitating her completely. So why haven't you performed either of these? Hmm? And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Well, that was a rather creepy change in subject. We'll just ignore him for now and go this way. More stuffed animals! Hooray! What the? Hmm. Doesn't sound like a zombie. Ooh! Something to read! The secretary's second diary. Straighten up the chief's room, he bursts through the door, furious as ever. I've been two or months since I started working here, but the second time I've seen him like this. One, once a month, huh? Last time was for bumping the statue, only this time he looked even more pissed. I thought he was gonna hurt me. <laughs> I discovered what the chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out, out that I know my wife is in, could, will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. Take this one day at a time. Hmm. Ta looks like the chief found out. Right. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. Hurry for the light switch. And... Wait. Let me go! Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. Well, that happened. Just as an aside, if you don't turn on the light, then it's too dark to see her, so... Leon, come in. I she's found actually the girl, hiding pretty effectively. And I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. Yay. And that box over there has My a first aid Claire. spray in it. What's yours? Sherry, do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Uh, near figures. the city limits. The chemical plant? Then... What are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. Mm. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd That's better come sure. with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. Oh, really? And it's coming after me. <laughs> what was that? That's what I was telling you about! It's here! Sherry, wait! No! Oh, get behind me so I can defend you with my firearms! Get back here, kid! Oh. Unfortunately, Sherry can- Sherry is pretty quick when she wants to be, and exceptionally elusive. But we've already seen plenty of signs of that already. 
Maybe she got holed up by the chief. Well, of course, thinking about it. Where'd he go? Chief? You know, as I was saying, just thinking about it, how'd Sherry get in there in the first place? Wrong button. Ooh, cute. This is predictably the heart key. Yay! Um, I don't know where the chief went, but he took the mayor's daughter with him. Let's see, chief's diary. It's all over. Those imbeciles from Umbrella have finally done it. Despite all their promises, they've ruined my town. Soon the streets will be infested with zombies. I'm beginning to think that I may even be infected myself. I'll kill everyone in town if this turns out to be true. I was successful in spreading confusion among the police as planned made sure that no one from the outside will come to help. With the delays in the police actions, no one will be will have, have the chance to escape my city alive. I've seen to it personally that all escape routes from um, inside the precinct have been cut off, off as well. There are s several survivors still attempting to escape through the lower levels, but I'll make sure no one gets out. I've had a change of heart about the remaining survivors inside the precinct. I've decided to hunt them down myself. I shot Ed in the ba back through the heart less than an hour ago. I watched him writhe in pain upon the floor and or in a pool of his own blood. The expression on his face was positively exquisite. He died with his eyes wide open, staring up at me. It was beautiful. I wonder if the mayor's daughter is still alive. I let her escape so I could enjoy hunting her down later. I'm going to enjoy my new trophy. Yes, frozen forever in the pose I choose to give her. All right, not only was that exceptionally creepy, creepy it uh, demonstrates Chief Irons is uh, kind of the, the local primary enemy. What we got here? The sacrifice dies at the, is by the claw of the jaguar. Its blood forms a serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle glistens bathed in blood. And a gateway of doom will be open. Well, that's pleasant. But uh, it correlates to these, these stones we've been picking up. So, now that we place the eagle and the serpent, we just need to find the jaguar. And, well, one step in doing that would be to place this other red gem. Sadly, though, it is not the only step left. Here you go, have a rock. No reward! Let's look into this man's chest cavity. We have a blue stone! Hooray! We found the jaguar. We found half of the jaguar stone. Don't. Oh. Well, now now begins our quest to find the other half. Oi! Let's drop off this half a rock, and uh, then we'll be on our way. To the box with you, laddie. All right. Well, our quest to find the other half of the stone involves, well, going downstairs, of course. So we'll just use this pathway over here. And we'll also pick up a bunch of... Uh, a whole lot of herbs along the way. Mostly because this is actually our best opportunity to do so. Two. Three. 
free. Oh, I was going to combine the, th the three green herbs I have in the box, but I forgot to do that. Oh well. Let's use the key and get rid of it. There's only one door of usefulness. It gets us many herbs. More greeneries! Make some space. Aha! Alright. This hallway here is the... It's the other place where we could have used that extension cord. But... Well... You'll see why I didn't use it here for Claire. If you're playing with Leon, then you might want to use the cord here. Hey, Pooch! Two! Three! Four! Five! Sure to re reload the gun. There's a couple more dogs. Hi there. Down boy. Watch it. I actually wasted a fair few bullets. Oh well. It's not like we're running short of them. But with the darn dudes out of the way, let's explore. Over here we have the power room. So this was, uh, this was mentioned in, in the Operation Report 1. It's being necessary for a weapon cache. But first we have to get this backup power routed. Let's see. Use these five switches. Using all the power may cause a short and cut the power supply. So, how's this work? Well, do the first switch up. And then, uh, as long as you don't, don't take the total power over a hundred, then, then, uh, all will be good. And since it, and since the needle moves up by 36 or down by 14, as long as you move two of them down, you're not going to exceed it. First one up and then two down. <laughs> Let's take this map. And get out of here. So over here the rest of the way is where we find the weapon storage. But we're going to need that key card that was mentioned. And they have no idea what happened to that guy. It's not very useful. Let's go over here to the parking lot. Not a whole lot going on in the parking lot. But there is more shrubberies for us to pick up. At least there's just the one. There. There we go. Alright. Having exhausted all options on this path, we go the other way. Of course, if you're playing as if you're playing as Leon, then that is the primary path you need to go. What's all this then? Autopsies. That's okay. I'm not sure. I want to go into a room where they examine the dead right now. Let's go this way instead. Before we start running off too far, herbs. The red one! Our salad will be complete. Yay! 
how to book it. Down the manhole. For the dogs come and say hi. Huzzah! And, plot reasons, we must go in this door. Although for storage reasons and timing reasons, we definitely want to go in this door. Aha! Mostly so we can set stuff down. those up. Put that, put that away. And grab some stuff we'll need, we'll need for our next excursion. It's going to involve the crank and the lighter. But that is for next time. Until then, later.